Hello, my name is Will Davis from the North Carolina Department of Agriculture. During today's episode, we are taking a visit to the Raleigh Farmer's Market. I am planning to purchase some fresh local products to take home to prepare later. I want to show everyone the benefit of the farms we have in our state and this great resource. The Raleigh Farmer's Market, or NC State Farmer's Market, is one of four regional farmer's markets owned by the state of North Carolina. This market is operated by the North Carolina Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services. These regional farmers markets are strategically located across the state to serve North Carolina farmers. The market provides modern, well-maintained facilities that are inviting to both sellers and buyers. The Raleigh Market is located at 1201 Agriculture Street. The hours of operation are Monday through Saturday, 5 a.m. to 6 p.m and Sundays 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. The first building I walked through was the Farmer's Building. The Farmer's Building is 30,000 square feet where North Carolina farmers sell fresh produce, plants, and other specialty items produced on local farms. Plants are available starting in March and local fruits and vegetables are sold throughout their respective growing season. The Farmer's Building is where you can find the freshest and widest variety of produce and plants in the Raleigh area. Walker Farms of Franklinville, North Carolina is where I purchased fresh sweet corn, okra, and specialty heirloom tomatoes. After picking up my fresh vegetables, I moved on to the Market Shops building. This building, unlike the Farmer's building, is enclosed with air conditioning. In the 15,000 square feet, you will find more fresh produce from around the country, as well as local meats, cheeses, crafts, bakery items, custom picture framing, a market grill, and North Carolina wines. There's a wide variety of specialty shops with old-fashioned candies, fresh squeezed lemonade, and North Carolina gifts. This was the meat shop that caught my eye. I felt it was only fitting to include pork in my North Carolina dinner. May Meat Farm is located in Lewisburg, North Carolina. May Farm specializes in free-range pork and beef. According to the USDA, producers must demonstrate to the agency that the livestock has been allowed access to the outside to be considered free range. At May Farms, the cattle are grass fed and the pigs are fed a special feed that is custom made. I spent time at the market speaking to the employee about the benefits of the methods they use. Together we discussed topics such as medicated feed additives, pork food safety, fat content, and cooking methods. If you happen to visit this booth, you will realize the passion they have for quality local meats. You can find May Farm's shop in the Market Shops building every day from 9.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. Welcome to my kitchen, y'all. I want to show y'all how to prepare these local products. This isn't a recipe, this is just a demonstration of how easy this can be and hopefully it will influence you to explore your local foods. I will also share some information about the products I purchased and their current contributions to North Carolina agriculture. All of my vegetables came from Walker Farms. This is the okra I'm going to fry. Next is the sweet corn. In North Carolina, there are 5,100 acres of planted sweet corn, which is valued at $12,121,000 in sales. There are 3,500 acres of tomatoes planted each year, which is valued at $47,058,000 in sales. These are the riblets from May Farms. Every year, North Carolina has an inventory of 8,900,000 pigs with a value of $2,000,000. $873,988,000. That puts North Carolina second in the nation in pig production. The total agricultural output in North Carolina amounts to 
142,000, which ranks 8th in the country. The spices I will be using today are brown sugar, onion powder, garlic powder, paprika, cayenne pepper, red pepper flakes, salt, and black pepper. We'll